Okay, let me talk about linked data now. So what is linked data? The easiest way to think about linked data is to contrast it with the current web. The current web has one trillion uh, web resources or pages, and this is, these pages are linked together. So we have a web of linked documents. The web of data, linked data, is a web of where data is linked together. So we have relationships between items of data, and these data may be, represent anything. They may represent a cat or a dog or a person or an organization or a disease. So linked data is a way of sharing data at a global scale using semantic web technology. And one of the key things is that there's no predefined schema like you would have in a database or a spreadsheet. So linked data is based on four very simple principles. The first one is that we use URIs to name things. Everything has a URI so we can uh, find it. And also these URIs are HTTP URIs so that when we find it, these URIs can be resolved and something can be returned. Now, when somebody looks up a URI, we use um, standards associated with linked data, which are RDF and Sparkle, to access and return the things. So what's returned is some uh, piece of RDF, and we look up things by querying using Sparkle technology. Lastly, um, within the web of data, we have links to other items of data. In the same way that on the web, you have links between one web page and other web pages. Let me now show a couple of examples of how uh, linked data is being deployed in some very interesting scenarios. First, we had the UK Open Government Initiative. There are other initiatives associated with other governments. But in spring this year, um, Gordon Brown, when he was Prime Minister, uh, announced a very big uh, digital transformation initiative based on linked data. So the slogan that they used was that the UK taxpayers had paid for all government data, so therefore all UK taxpayers should be able to access this data for free. And linked data technology was used to support this. The new government, um, headed by David Cameron, is now pushing linked data um, through transparency. So they're saying through linked data, the uh, UK citizens can access the elements of databases of government. And this will provide more transparency for the workings of government. Another uh, exciting deployment was associated with the World Cup this summer and the BBC website associated with this. So here we see a web page for Wayne Rooney. You can see the games that he played in, the shots that he had on and off target. So underneath this, there's an RDF-based engine. So um, various statistics and stories are entered uh, associated with Wayne Rooney. And then when the browser or the user clicks on the browser to look up information, these pieces of information are, are brought together. So underneath this, um, this was the um, overall process model. So publishers would write stories associated with multimedia content. And this content was um, tagged with a, a model associated with the World Cup. So in this model, we'd have items related to football teams. Football teams are members of groups. Football teams have players. Um, there are different teams associated for the various countries. And every time the user clicked on an item, uh, the various elements were brought together on the fly. And um, as I mentioned earlier, the, this web page had a, a million hits a day. So the machinery stood up well for this. Uh, a last example I'd like to show is um, Facebook. So Facebook have announced a, a new technology called Open Graph, which uses RDFA, which is a way of embedding RDF into plain HTML pages. So now when you look on the web, you can see in many places with here we have a movie, Casablanca, uh, with various stories, a, like, a Facebook likes button. And when you click on that button, the statement that you like this particular movie or story is added to your profile in Facebook. And uh, there are now 500 million uh, users of Facebook. So now we have 500 million users on the web annotating the web semantically using linked data technology. Now, um, one last thing I'd like to say is that using uh, linked data, there's been a growing set of RDF triples, a store, which we call the linked open data cloud. So in this cloud, we see a number of colored bubbles, and each bubble represents a particular set of RDF triples about a particular topic. So there are items for BBC programs, some for medical diseases, some for the publications of universities uh, in different areas. And if you count up all the RDF triples here, uh, there are actually now just under 25 billion of these. 
with over 400 million links between them. So we can see that soon um, at the growth rate uh, of this uh, cloud, we won't be able to draw it in the same way that we can't really draw the web, that there really will be a web of data in the same way as we have a web of documents.